Hey Chuck here again and today I'm going to talk about fine-tuning your filters for a new quad and sometimes your default filters don't exactly work out and in this example I'm using a TBS Discovery with the Omnibus F4 and it has 10-inch uh, carbon props on it and so I'm trying to get this tuned up get some of the vibes out so I did a quick maiden and I um, did some PID tuning just to kind of get it um, kind of okay flyable but you know it was obvious that there was a lot of uh, vibes in the quad so um, here's my black box that I'm taking a look at so let me just point out um, a couple things um, one is um, I noticed that uh, my number three motor was consistently running higher than all of the other motors and if you look at the graph here I have my motors on the top and this yellow line is just consistently above all the others and that's uh, motor three so something going on with that motor but I see some other things and I see my D term oscillating on the um, pitch and roll axis and um, so what I've done here is I'm using the um, mark tool marker tool within the black box explorer you type the M where you want it to mark and then you slide the um, graph and and it'll automatically measure and what I'm getting here is about a 75 Hertz um, oscillation on my D term and it's probably just picking that up and I see um, my actual uh, gyro um, after the filter is showing that as well um, the gyro is very noisy here this custom graph right here shows all three axes overlaid with each other so let's just go ahead and, and uh, try to do some um, tune-ups on this very quickly and uh, let's take a look at the um, default um, filter settings so default um, gyro filters you get this uh, two low pass cutoffs you get one at 100 Hertz and the other at 300 Hertz and you get a D term low pass at 100 and uh, 200 so let's go take a look at some of the um, graphs of um, each axis so uh, the first one we'll take a look at uh, the raw gyro graph and you'll have to turn on the um, debug to gyro scaled and so um, taking a look at this graph um, you can see that the default cutoffs for the um, gyro low pass and the D trim low pass are right in the middle of this spike right here so uh, first thing we'll do let me take a look at my notes so we'll take a look and, and uh, we'll change this um, cutoff for the D term low pass and for the number one um, we'll take it from 100 down to 70 and you'll see 70 should be approximately right um, below this first uh, hump right here and what else do we see here we see that the low pass cutoff number two is at 200 which is more or less right in the middle of this spike but I do see a trough right here so I'm gonna drop that D term low pass filter number two cutoff from um, 200 down to um, about 125 right below um, this first major spike so with these lower um, turning slower turning props um, the 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 noise is going to be at a lower um, lower um, frequency than with the the smaller um, five inch setups so so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to adjust the default low pass uh, cutoffs and uh, the D term notch filters so um, let's see let's take a look at the um, low pass uh, cutoff setting so the first one is going to be at at 100 identical to the D term so I'm going to lower that down to 70 as well so both of these will go to 70 and uh, looking at the um, gyro low pass filter number two at 300 I mean basically there's nothing here so I'm going to take that 300 and I'm going to lower it down to this first notch right here and I'm going to estimate that to be about 175 Hertz so let's go ahead and bring up the um, the second um, the oh, actually the um, the first uh, the results of the first tuning and see what our results are 
put that to the side bring up the second one and I'll show you what was changed here so so now we're at 70 and uh, 175 we lowered this down to 70 as well the um, D term low pass so both the D term low pass filter cutoff and the gyro low pass filter cutoff are both at 70 which should be under that first bump and change the low pass filter um, cutoff number two to 175 hertz and uh, the D term to 125 so we're trying to do two things here we're adjusting the gyro low pass filters to the correct range and then we're adding in the D term uh, filter because we're getting that oscillation on the D term so let's go ahead and take a look at the results of that All right. So what I can see is that the motors have smoothed out a little bit um, and the um, oscillations um, are still there, but the amplitudes are a lot lower. So, um, but what you can see is that the difference between the, um, the pitch, the pick, pitch axis. So let me just go ahead and bring those sort of side by side so you can kind of see those. So this is a very similar uh, trace here. If I look at my pitch axis, um, my, my D term was going crazy right over here. Now, if I look at my pitch axis um, D term, it's, uh, it's highlighting right there. You can see it's just basically um, the amplitude has just come down quite a bit um, so so the D term um, has been knocked down um, quite a bit just by adding the uh, D term notch filter and by aligning the um, low pass cutoff filters let's take a look at now um, the um, the actual gyro outputs are on these red lines right here together and the amplitudes are a little bit smaller. You can see that just visibly the amplitudes of those are smaller, but you can see that the frequencies are still there. So, so let's go ahead and uh, zoom in and take a look at the, the frequency of that. So what I can see is the, the peak of one of these. This is the pitch axis. If I mark that, getting about 100 hertz there. So we're getting about 100 uh, hertz looking at this um, pitch axis, and I imagine that that's coming through on the um, on the roll as well. So let's just take a look at the gyro for the pitch axis right here, and. Okay, so this is the after filtering. So I do see that uh, maximum motor noise is about 107 hertz right here. So we get this bump right here, and this is probably our 100 hertz noise right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the um, roll axis. And so very similar, right around that 100 um, hertz. So, so let's take a look at the gyro trace and see what we can... Uh, improve on that. So let's take a look at the debug. So, so for our second um, second tune or second tuning attempt at our filters, we're going to take the the gyro notch filter um, and and we're going to add a, a gyro notch filter. So right now there it's not set. So we're going to set this um, at uh, 200 hertz which is right under the maximum noise. So we'll set a um, notch filter here. And the cutoff I'm setting at uh, 175, which is right in the middle of this, uh, you know, this, this, this bunch of things or something like that. So,
so let's bring the the change in here so try to get these side by side so we can take a look at some of the filter settings all right gyro low pass Okay, so what I'm adding in is a notch filter at uh, 200, and the cutoff, oh, I said 175, the cutoff is uh, 125 here. So let's see what we're trying to get rid of. So 125 is this notch right here, and 200 is our peak motor noise. So I'm hoping to squash this uh, section of the, the noise. Let's bring in the change. It's 200, 100, 125. We're trying to squash that little section there. And if I go to the I think I'm already looking at it, but if I click on the um, the pitch, um, this is the raw. And if I look at the after the filter, we now have it just pretty flat um, where this gyro notch filter is. You see that its um, center um, is at 200, and the notch um, cutoff is at 125 so this green shaded area right here is just flattened out this entire thing let's go back and take a look at the the previous uh, graph on the on the pitch axis okay so that's the raw and we'll take a look at the pitch Okay, so we can see that just by adding that um, that gyro notch filter, the center at 200, we squashed this um, little bit of noise um, coming through right here. So um, so now we have our our gyro notch filters uh, aligned correctly with the actual motor noise. So let's just go ahead and uh, try to clean this up. Uh, just a little bit more. Oops. All right, so let's take a look at this. And um, so we can do a little bit better. And so we have one notch, gyro notch filter in. It squashed this area. So we have this whole other area that we can work on. So let's add another notch filter in. And we're going to add this filter. Um, at 100 it seems to be right in the middle of this mass right here and we'll have the cutoff at about 70 down here so we'll try to squish this whole area down with another notch filter so let me just go ahead and show you that uh, notch filter setting get a bunch of stuff out of the way here all right so so here we go now um, so so now we have two notch filters. Um, the first one, so I just did a swap here. Um, I initially had set notch two and did not turn on notch one. So I just kind of took the settings from notch two, moved them, moved them over to notch one. So notch one is now 200 with the cutoff at 125. And the notch two, this is the, the second one we're going to add. At the center is um, 100 and the um, cutoff is 70. So we're trying to squish that little just that little bit of the um, noise there. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what the result was. Let's look at the pitch. All right, so on the pitch, 
this noise has just been squished down you can see it there's a really there's almost no noise right at 100 and then have a stubborn little bit between 70 and 100 that's just not going away um, so let's take a look at at how this was affected all right so here we go you can see that this is before we added the second um, notch filter and now here's the second notch filter you can see it right here notch center of 100 Hertz and the cutoff at 70 and you can see that the difference between um, the previous tune the filter tune and this filter tune is significant with with uh, almost no noise at 100 but we still have this little stubborn little bit so um, one thing I'll just do just to kind of end this is um, just a little bit more fine tuning and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move the center of this uh, notch filter number two just down just a little bit more and I'm going to move that down to uh, I'm sorry I'm going to move it down to 90 instead of 100 so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to squish this so I'm just kind of shifting it over just a little bit more so let's take a look at um, and what that looks like. Let's move this off to the side and with fine-tuning that um, second notch filter here we go. Um, the notch number two now I'm changed to 90 from 100 and uh, move the cutoff down to 60 because I just want to widen that uh, that band uh, for this D term. I'm sorry for this uh, gyro notch filter so let's take a look at what the results were on that and if I click into the graph on the pitch now I can see that with the center of the gyro um, notch filter moved to 90 and a cutoff set at 60 I've even further reduced those but you know I think it's impossible to squish this all the way but let's just take a take a look at the the previous tune and see how we did by just um, adjusting that first notch filter so here's a here's a look on the left here of the um, previous tune and here we are with our current tune so you can see that um, just moving that notch filter um, from moving the the notch center from 100 down to 90 really just um, flatten this whole um, thing out just a bit so what I can tell you now is that the quad is actually a lot more flyable so I've kept the PIDs the same throughout all of this and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and uh, retune the PIDs and uh, take a look to see um, how the video is but I can definitely see from um, just looking at these traces that um, it's just it's just going to be a lot better to fly so so I hope that helps that's just a quick uh, crash a quick and dirty course on um, how to go about looking at your um, black box traces and um, setting your filters uh, to more match that and this is going to be more applicable to um, larger propped quads so you know your 8 inch uh, 9 10 up and up so um, balance your props and uh, change your filters set, set your filters up before trying to put your final tune on and uh, it's going to make a huge difference okay well thanks a lot for watching and uh, good luck